Cyprus sits in the northeastern corner of the Mediterranean Sea. It is south of Turkey, west of Syria and Lebanon, and north of Egypt. In June 2004, Benjamin Morris and Nathaniel May, instructors in the music department at Eastern Mediterranean University, climbed the eastern slope of Kings Hill to experience a view from the plateau. In the middle section of the plateau, between the South Plateau to the left and the North Plateau to the right, they discovered 26 bronze artifacts stored in a large pithos under a stone buried in the ground. They notified the Department of Archaeology and Art History at Eastern Mediterranean University immediately, who then notified the Department of Antiquities and Museums. They took the bronze hoard into safekeeping and stored them at the St. Barnabas Museum in Tuzla. The bronze hoard is the largest number of high-quality pieces stored in a clay vessel found on Cyprus. Some of the pieces are true masterpieces of craftsmanship. The King's Hill, called Krautepesi in Turkish or Vasili in Greek, is a fossil limestone reef with large terraces on its eastern and southern slopes. The soft fossil limestone of King's Hill offers little or no resistance to the natural erosion caused by rain, temperature, and wind. Natural elements have already destroyed parts of the architecture on the North Plateau. Only the rock-cut rooms have survived. Vegetation is also taking its toll. A rescue salvage excavation was necessary because the destructive factors of erosion could no longer be ignored. Research had to begin because this site is in immediate danger through environmental erosion and major land modification. The plateau stands 100 meters above the surrounding plains. The plateau is about 110 meters in length and 18 meters wide and is divided into the southern plateau and the northern plateau. The southern plateau is 30 meters higher than the northern plateau, and they are separated by a narrow area of about 5 meters wide. The pithos with the bronze hard was found in this narrow area between the southern and northern plateaus.
Cypriot and Turkish students met in Kalibunu for orientation and training on July the 24th, 2006. The more experienced international students and the international archaeologist specialist would arrive at the camp a few days later. Uwe Müller introduces the Cypriot and Turkish students to the plans for the excavation campaign and the excavation site. During the campaign, the team would climb the hill at least twice a day, in the early morning before lunch and the late afternoon after the lunch break. The plateau was simply too hot during the noonday hours in the summer months. Bülent Chisel Dulman introduces the students to the tools and techniques for documenting the excavation. Excavation is a destructive process and there is a need for well-organized and accurate documentation to understand what is being destroyed. Bülent and Idowu Shalanka compare notes on the schematics of the excavation grid system. In the early hours of the first excavation day, the team climbs the hill to clean away the sediment that protected the site during the winter. A sediment pit is constructed on the tip of the South Plateau to store the dug up sediment until it is needed again at the end of the campaign. Sieving the sediment is a precaution against missing some small finds through visual inspection. The science of archaeology requires that anything found in the trench, in situ as they call it, must be documented in the trench, in situ, before it is removed. One day, a stone stamp seal was found. After cleaning the stone, it was noted that the stone is not like other stones on the site. This suggests that the hill may have been part of an international trading center. The electronic distance measurement equipment a geodimeter, or a total station, as it is often called, is a setup at a mean point on the site. The geodimeter is fed information on temperature, atmospheric pressure, height of the instrument, time of the signal, and a fixed point between a known north point and a known south point on the site. The instrument calculates a mean point between north and south. This mean point becomes the point from which all the grid calculations and all other calculations are made. The instrument is designed to produce a three-dimensional topographical plan of the excavation site.
The spots on the topographical plan represent concentrations of archaeological finds on the eastern and southern terraces and plains surrounding the King's Hill. Stefan Krauss and Xavier Guerrel are taking height measurements as part of the North Plateau grid system. Sven Brumack, Michaela Jan, and Miriam Yousefi join Stefan in setting the points for the grid system. An excavation grid system is a network of five or ten square meter grids that cover the excavation site. The square grids run north, south, and east-west with fixed points that represent the horizontal measurements. The vertical measurements, the height, are produced by survey instruments. Photographic documentation is a necessary methodological procedure in field archaeology. The bird's eye view is the preferred viewpoint. The archaeologist needs to understand the whole site in order to understand its details. Images made at the top of the process facilitate an understanding of the complex excavation plan, its surroundings, and its structure. Trans photography and aerial photography were two photographic methods used on the Kings Hill site. 